Hello and welcome back to your online programme, Making the Most of Executive Coaching. This tutorial is all about creating really well-formed outcomes. Why are they so important? Well, you've engaged with a coach for a reason. And if you want to make the most of your programme and the time that you have with your coach, then having some well-formed outcomes where you're really clear about what you want to achieve will make all the difference. So let's look at what a well-formed outcome looks like. First of all, the first thing to bear in mind is that a well-formed outcome takes on board both the head and the heart. And the reason it balances both of those elements of ourselves is that the head provides the logic, the sort of grounded, maybe task-focused element of the outcome, what you want to achieve and why it's important to you in your job and the organisation you're working for. And the heart addresses the motivational elements of the outcome. So it's what really makes the outcome compelling for you. Because the heart element engages with us emotionally and it gives us that drive, that energy to really want to make that outcome happen. So in your first session, your coach will work with you to establish what your outcomes are. And the first area they'll look at is to explore what your areas of focus are. These are two or three areas that you think are important and provide a focus for the goals that you want to set for yourself. Then once you've established that, they'll move on to considering what the shift is you want to make. So it's worth thinking before you go into your first session, what are the shifts you want to make by being involved and working with a coach? And finally, a coach will ask you to consider what the measurements are. How will you know you've been successful? And in stating those measurements, they may sometimes be stated numerologically. So you might be able to see vis visibly um, results that you've achieved through your coaching. But a coach will check in with you about whether um, your measurements are something you can see, something you can hear, and also something that you feel as a way of measuring your success at the end of the program. So let me share an example of how that might work in practice. You might come to coaching and one of your areas of focus is to improve your influence. Your goal or the shift that you want to make is related very much to expanding your relationships with your network and the stakeholders in your network, improving those relationships and also improving your reputation around the organisation. How you would measure that would be the things that you might see are that people come towards you. They invite you to come to meetings and they include you in their conversations. You might hear them acknowledging you and saying thank you for the contribution that you've made to them. And finally, you might feel really elated, really satisfied by the contribution that you're making and how that's expanded during the programme. So that's an example of what measurements can look like for, for an effective, compelling outcome. Now let's also think about the language that we use when we um, work with a coach and set our outcomes. What you'll find your coach will do is they will encourage you to state your outcomes in the positive. And there's a really good reason behind that. For some reason, the brain short circuits negative instructions. So if I was to say to you, stop thinking about pink elephants, what do you start thinking about? Yeah, we start thinking about pink elephants. So it's very important that you state your goals, your outcomes in the positive, because that is more likely to take you towards your goals. Let me give you an example. I want to feel less nervous versus I want to feel confident and positive. Just that shift in language can make all the difference and creates a whole different world, not only for yourself, but also for the people that you might be sharing your outcomes with. Thank you for listening and I hope you found this valuable.
do join us for our next short tutorial, which is in fact a sample coaching session. This will give you an opportunity to see a very short demonstration of what a coaching session can look like. I hope you enjoy. Thank you.